Thank you everyone to attend my presentation. The title of today's presentation is Trip V1 Media Dysonal Genetics or Cellular Level Neuromodulation in Rodent Brain in Vivo. Sonal genetics is the technology that combines the ultrasound and the genetic tool for non invasive and cell type selective neuromodulation. First, the Y type neuron is transfected by viral vectors to express ultrasound sensitive ion channels to the specific neuron type. In this way, the transfected neurons are more sensitive to ultrasound than the Y-type neurons. So when ultrasound is applied, only the transfected neurons will be activated, while the surrounding Y-type neurons will not be affected. And the existing sonal genetics technologies are all based on the mechanosensitive ion channels by harnessing the mechanical effect of ultrasound. And as we know that ultrasound generates not only the mechanical effect, but also the thermal effects. Trip V1 is a well-known thermal sensitive ion channel with the activation threshold about 42 Celsius degree. So when the temperature is above this threshold, the channel is open and the calcium influx into the cells to activate the neuron. And we hypothesized that the Trip V1 is an ultrasound sensitive ion channel. And as illustrated here, that the neuron we use viral vectors to overexpressing trip V1 can be activated by the ultrasound mild PT. And the objective of this study was to develop trip V1 mediated sonal genetics. So first we evaluate the feasibility and the safety of trip V1 mediated sonal genetics. And here is the experimental workflow. We first package trip V1 genes into the lentivirus with CAMK2 promoter. And then we inject the lentivirus to the mouse brain. The CAMK2 promoter allows the expression of trip V1 specifically in the excitatory neurons. And after one month for the virus expression, a surgery was performed to remove a piece of the skull and replace it by a cover glass. And in this way, the two photon microscope can look through the optical windows and image the neural activities at the cellular level. Then the focus ultrasound stimulation was performed using this customized setup. And this is a picture of the setup. A ring-shaped transducer was coupled to the objective of the two photon microscope. And the calcium indicator gcam 6 f was used to indicate whether the neurons are activated or not. And the size of the ultrasound focus was 0.6 millimeter in the transverse view and five millimeter in the coronal view. And this is a representative two photon images of the mouse brain. The red color represents trip V1 and the green color represents the calcium indicator. And we can identify two types of neurons. So one type of neuron such as neuron one and neuron two, they both express the trip V1, which is red color, and they also express the calcium indicator, the green color. And another type of neuron, like neuron three and neuron four, they only express the calcium indicator, but without the expression of the trip V1. And by analyzing the calcium signals over time, we can clearly see that only when the neurons that overexpressing trip V1, they can be activated by ultrasound, while the surrounding white type neurons without expressing trip V1 are not affected by ultrasound. And this result demonstrated that sonal genetics can selectively activate neurons that overexpressing trip V1. And our group study further confirmed that only when the neurons that overexpressing trip V1 it can be activated by the FAS. And in contrast, the Y type neurons without overexpressing trip V1 cannot be activated by ultrasound. And the success rate of the sonal genetics can achieve as high as 75%. And this result suggested that trip V1 mediated sonal genetics can achieve non invasive and, more importantly, the cell type selective neural modulations with high success rate. And we then evaluate different fast parameters, including the pulsed wave PW and the continuous wave CW with different stimulation durations. And by optimizing the ultrasound parameters, the sonal genetics can repeatedly activate the neurons that overexpressing trip V1. 
And we find that the success rate was dependent on different ultrasound parameters we used. So the continuous wave with seven seconds stimulation duration can achieve the success rate, neuron activation success rate as high as 88%. And the continuous wave can also achieve faster neuron activation within 2.5 seconds. And the safety evaluation find that the ultrasound parameters used in this study was safe at cellular level. And we then evaluate the physical mechanisms behind the 2D world media sonogenetics. And to study the thermal effect of ultrasound, we use MRI thermometries to image the temperature rise induced by ultrasound in vivo. And these two images shows the temperature distribution of heat induced by the FAS. And by quantifying the temperature at the FAS target location, it was found that the continuous wave that induced faster and higher temperature rise than the pulsed wave. And this is consistent with our previous neuron activation result. And we further find that there was a strong linear correlation between the success rate of the neuron activation and the maximum temperature rise induced by different ultrasound parameters. It suggested that the tribular mediated sonogenetics can be precisely controlled by ultrasound induced temperature rise. And here is the conclusion that the trip even is an ultrasound sensitive ion channel. And we also successfully developed the trip even mediated sonogenetics. And I thank you for the support of our lab and especially for my mentor, Dr. Hongchen.